Hello, everyone. As I record this, it is October 1st, 2020. And as you may know, October is always Cybersecurity Awareness Month. And I have a confession to make. For many years as a security consultant and security awareness trainer, October always crept up on me. So I sometimes didn't have much material prepared or things to offer people. But now security awareness is so important that I'm prepared and ready for questions, also ready to do live sessions or webinars for people who approach me as long as I have time. So if you're wondering how you should be recognizing Cybersecurity Awareness Month, I've got some quick tips for you, whether you're a manager, an employee, or an individual. Let's start with individuals. We're all busy and security is certainly not at the top of mind for everybody. But if you're here, you're obviously interested in security. So for yourself, I recommend finding a trusted source of security guidance. Look for community or professional organizations that you can join or even just attend a meeting. These are groups like ISSA, ISC2, or ISACA. If you just want to keep up to date with security tips, find a good podcast that does regular updates. I'm biased, but the Shared Security Podcast with Tom Esten and myself is a great start. Tom does weekly security news stories you can use, and we do a monthly episode where I join in for more discussion. For employees, your job may not be security specifically, so it's a good idea to take a few minutes to see if your employer is offering any sessions or has recommended tools that you can use at work and at home. Building good security habits at work will help you protect personal information at home and vice versa. And as an added bonus, I recommend that you visit canibefish.com, which is Hook Armor's free self-assessment website for phishing awareness. It's a fun three-minute challenge that lets you test yourself on recognizing a number of phishing threats, and you can find out details about things that you might have missed. We use it as a way of demonstrating to everybody how gamified learning can make a huge difference in employee engagement and knowledge retention regarding security practices. For managers, in addition to those tips I just mentioned, you should be trying to make security awareness a more continuous process. October is a good time to start, but you can start anytime with various free tools, including a trial of gamified learning courses from ClickArmor. Through October 2020, we're offering our Home Alone course completely free with a private administration area for your own team that includes a leaderboard and our Home Alone gamified learning module for working from home securely. This will give you an idea of how easy and cost-effective it can be to have a continuous security awareness program that engages and builds a self-defending team. It's also important to set some goals on a monthly or bi-monthly basis to keep fresh on new threats and just to keep everybody practicing and ready to spot risks in the real world on an ongoing basis. Whatever you do for Security Awareness Month, try to remember that nobody expects to be targeted, but using memorable experiences and setting goals will help you get prepared for the cyber winter that just seems to be getting worse. I'm Scott Wright. Thanks for watching.